Okay. Well, actually, it's not West Indians. I was, like I said, South Carolinian. That's where my people come from. I never try to pretend to be something I'm not. Oh, okay. <laughs> Even though I've always lived in Jersey growing up. Jersey? Mm-hmm. Okay, I was just trying to depict your accent and everything, but I guess... Well, New Jer- Jersey. New Jersey? Okay. Jersey accent. Okay, well, you know... <laughs> some of us say girls instead of girls. Okay, well, hopefully you have some scrapple at your next event. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm, so, you're going to come to see my play? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you you just you just came at me like from the courts. Uh, you gonna come and see my play? You interview me? <laughs> That's that yes. northern attitude. Uh, 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 <laughs> I told you. Oh, wow. Okay, that northern attitude. Yes, I would love to come and uh, and sit in on one of your wonderful productions. And tell us tell us when you having your production, so my listeners can come with me as my bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're having a um. Opening performance in Winston Salem. It's going to be the start of what will be our tour for this year. And the theme for our tour is the Keep It Green, Stay Clean initiative. Okay. And what's the date of that? Uh, March 27th. Okay. That's uh, with the Friday before Palm Sunday. Okay. And we're also doing a fundraiser the next day for the, for a church. Okay. And we're going to have um, two performances there. And I, I've been told that I'm doing something that other playwrights or uh, producers don't usually do. One of my shows is going to be a show for the understudies. Okay. Give us your information again. Give us your full name. Give us your information so people can write it down. I got people hitting me up. They said, can you please have her spell her name, please? Sure. Uh, it's... P A M, and the second word is R E A. Pam Rea, not Pam Greer. Please don't call me Pam Greer. No, no Pam Greer. Everybody calls me Pam Greer. They don't understand my name and service. Okay, now you said Pam Pam Rea. Pam Rea. R E A, right? Yes. Okay. All right. I, I thought that, that's what I said when I first uh, introduced you. No, you it. did it right. I was very impressed. Oh, okay. I'm like, hold on. Did I mispronounce her name or something? I said Miss Pam. No, Rhea. you pronounce it exactly the way it is, okay. and I appreciate it. Look, look, ladies and gentlemen, please blow up our page because she done blew me up today already, uh, trying to beat me up on, on my own show. <laughs> I'm trying to hold it close, you know, but. Please go and support this wonderful director, this author, this playwright, this stage per production woman who's taken her craft very seriously. I think um, you, your your craft speaks upon from your personality. Your work speaks upon from your personality, and I think everybody would enjoy your work because it has your personality in it. Thank you so much, but I would like to clarify one thing now. I am going to be directing the Spanish version of my play, yeah. but Liz, Liz Goins Turner is directing the English version, and it's just great working with her. Get me, por favor, no. I no no hechata, no burritos. No. no burrito. You hungry or something? <laughs> yeah, sopa. You know, sopa. The, you know, jalapenos. You know, yeah, hochata. You gonna make me end up have to order some uh, Mexican food in a few minutes, and you're sitting up here talking about Spanish or Spaniards. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna really have to when you uh, have the time to see the trailer for the Spanish version. You'll like that. Um, we use in the background. Bachata music. Really? Yes, we do. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, there's a, um, a song, if you look it up on YouTube, La Diabla. That's the song we use in the background. Hold on, hold on. say that again. La, Diabla. La Diabla. We have that in our playlist. Yeah, you know, play it. It's a, it's a wonderful we song. Have, we have that in our playlist. We play Brazilian jazz and Latin jazz and uh, cumbias and uh, salsa and jazz. Oh, we play it all. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to ask you one more question. Sure. 
If there was a TV production out there right now, currently playing, which one do you feel would make it as a good stage play? Mm. Would it be Empire? Would it be How to Get Away with a Murder? Would it be Mary Jane? Would it be Scandal? Well, I say it would be a toss-up between Mary Jane and Scandal. Scandal, I think, would satisfy the, uh, <laughs> the public's need for drama. There's plenty of drama in it. And it's also at a, um, at a different level. Okay. It's almost like, um, I'm trying to think of a word for it. Um, I know you're not lost for words. Come on. Yeah, Matt, Matt Trevelyan. You know, something, di- you know, almost diabolical. Okay. Makes you think of the um, the tales about the um, royals in Europe and how they were all poisoning each other and doing all kinds of things to get someone into power. <laughs> That's what we're doing with Scandal. Do you feel that, would you be insulted if a Caucasian playwright or director came along and took your work and, and put a spin or a twist on it um, instead of it, you say your Latin uh, work. How would you feel if they changed that production into a Jewish or atheist stage production? How would you feel about your work being turned around? They took your concept, they took your work, your idea, and they twisted around. How would you feel about that? Well, one thing that I learned through this process is not to get upset because I've had people to steal my work. One time somebody took a scene from my play and put it on the internet. <laughs> and I got really upset. Well, what I've did also, you do about that? I've also had someone to um, take my play and start putting it in halfway houses. Wow. You know, but I got some money out of that because I'm copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. You just said you just said a word that I'm going to use today. Today is copyright. All my listeners, copyright. That's the word we're going to uh, focus on today is copyright. How do you go about getting your work copyright, and what is the process? Okay, I'll tell you the process. First, no, first I should tell you what is not the process. What is not the process is to take your work and mail it back to yourself, certified. Forget about that. That's useless. You have to have your work registered in the Library of Congress. How hard is that? uh, It's not hard at all. In fact, it's so much easier. Now you can do everything online. I think it costs like maybe, ooh, don't quote me, but like someplace in the neighborhood of about $60 to copyright. And I copyrighted my work at all stages. I copyrighted Angels Without Wings before I finished it. Okay. To protect my concept. Would you tell all playwrights to copyright their work? Absolutely. And copyright why, why is it so important? That you make update that copyright. Why is it so important to copyright your work? Because Pete, if your work is good, people will steal it. And there won't be a thing that you can do. But it's, it's just a play. Why, why, cop, why have a play copyright? You know? <laughs> Because someone will come along and take your play and make it into the only movie <laughs> that grosses all this money, and you won't get a dime, and there'll be nothing that you can do about it. So, and people will try in very insidious ways to steal your work. Someone tried to steal the song that I wrote. Okay. I, I created a song, and I knew a little bit about music, but I wasn't good enough to um, do a, a, a lead sheet. And uh, this person, I hired him to do a lead sheet, and he put down that he had the, um, that I did the lyrics, and that both of us did the um, the notes. And I found out later, when I did my research, that that wasn't so, that all he should have gotten credit for was the arrangement. Wow. Okay. So, we, we're talking about copywriting right now. We're talking about the importance of copywriting your work. Uh, we 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 are talking with Miss Pam Rhea uh, live here on Smooth ninety point five FM WGSJBC Radio iHeart Live three sixty five and HD Radio Station, and we are so glad that you called in today to give us a word of the day, 
And we want to uh, emphasize on that copyright, copywriting your work is the importance. Uh, straight from Miss Pram Greer. No, I'm just kidding. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Miss Pam Rhea. Miss Pam Rhea. Uh, we, we want to uh, make sure that everybody is um, understanding the work of what it takes to be a good director and playwright. Um, you, let me throw this at you. you, you you're talking about playwright. W- what about Annie? I'm sorry, what about, what, I didn't hear what, you. What about Annie? Annie, what, do you, that was copyrighted, but look what happened. They p- took it and twisted it around, put Mr. Warbucks as uh, Jamie Foxx black, and Annie is being African American. Annie, exactly. okay. Exactly, that's a perfect example. So what is uh, happening there, the original author of that work, I'm sure, is deceased, so the estate has to be right on it. Okay, do you think Because they... copyrights can outlive the person that wrote the um, the play. Do you feel that the uh, family, or uh, uh, they're going to get anything from it? Um, I don't see why not. Okay. The way you sound. We, we might we might not know about it, but I'm sure at some point they had to go and get some kind of permission to use this play, this um play, this book actually. Okay. Because okay. it started out as what a comic. Okay. Okay. What what about Betty Boop? Betty Boop. I'm gonna ask my girl now. You want me to talk about my girl Betty Boop? I love Betty Boop. <laughs> <laughs> are we talking about the the real Betty Boop, the real black Betty Boop, or are we talking about the white Betty Boop? I'm talking about the Betty Boop that I see all over the place, the cartoons. People that really know me, they always give me something with Betty Boop on it because I love Betty Boop. So you're talking you're talking you're talking about the white Betty Boop that the, the yeah. white actress stole so I, from. I, I, I had a, um, a shirt with the Betty Boop with the um, cornrows. <laughs> I treasure that one. Okay, so so you, you are aware that Betty Boop was black, is a uh, black? Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Two Gardens, probably, the, the way that they made her accent. <laughs> no, that's actually her real accent. That's the- yeah, but I'm saying that, you know, that they, they were um, saying that she was supposed, I guess at the time it wasn't correct to have a character that was black because Betty Boop is a very old character, so they... Took her, made her about the closest thing that they could to us. They made her Jewish okay. and from New York. <laughs> Would you ever do anything like that? Would you ever do one of your works, uh, uh, Betty Boop? Would you bring Br- Betty Boop to life? Mm, that's a challenge. I never thought about it. I'm going to kind of... I want dibs but, on it. I want dibs on it. I, I <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even a playwright. I'm just throwing out stuff to playwrights, and and I, I should be getting some credit if I see any of this stuff. I I probably won't even remember what I've been saying, unless I have to go back into the archives. Like, hey, I did say that. Yeah, yeah see, that way, if I put Betty Boop up on the stage, you could sue me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. But I, I just would like to see good work out there. Uh, you just give me a little credit, a little dibs on it. Yeah, you know, I don't want a whole bunch, but just see, just just, just like an African American person, we always jumping in the uh, bucket of crabs and trying to pull this, <laughs> trying to get get a little dibs. Huh? You can't get out, and let me get out. But uh, <laughs> I want to thank you very much, really, for calling in, Miss Pam Ria, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome and give a big warm applause to Miss Pam. Rhea, she has taken her time to call in and giving us some insight. You want to give us that uh, information where we can contact you at one more time? Yes, and I'm also going to send it to you so you can post it. Um, you can uh, contact me on my website, angelswithoutwings.net. Okay. It will be under construction and probably next week because we'll be loading the uh, information about the show and the tickets, but you can still access the website. And uh, you can also like my page on Facebook. Okay, like your page on Facebook. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to give you the information for that one second. Okay. Okay. Because I know when people try to do a search, a lot of times they come up with a lot of different angels and find it hard. 
Um, you would go to, um, of course, facebook.com slash.